Kovski, Mikuli, Stan, Stitt, by Good Revis, so thank you uh, for 50 played in first. Uh, 3741 Grukovski from Vasco and Grinius and 2942 uh, Grinius from Vasco and Ragas. They are the ones that make the difference and Lithuania starts with power play. Uh, the third period. Yeah, 118 left in this power play, still plenty of time to put another puck in the net. And then the, the start of a power play was really aggressive from Lithuania. If they can continue from that, it's, it's, it's a good chance uh, for them to, to make this uh, game more or less done. Yeah, shots after the second period, 26 for 20 and 16 for Spain. Uh, penalties, uh, 6 minutes uh, for each team. But uh, Lithuania was uh, a little bit better on the power play and they're going to still continue this. Yes, and then the referee, Hallin, uh, Robert Hallin from Norway, he's uh, ready to start the third period. Kind of kind of easy day for him too, you know, the calls that he made was pretty easy right in front of him. Yeah. Can't, can't complain. No, so far. Well, got five seconds until the uh, start of the third period. All right, here we go, Fox dropped, uh, Spaniards uh, win the face-off. Lithuania quickly intercepted. They keep the puck. And we're gonna go for the icing. Yeah. Well, they have to start over from their own end, but still plenty of time left on this power play, one minute and four seconds. Uh, a lot of time, but also Spain is much fresher in the beginning of the period than they were in the end of the last one. So, well, so far uh, the puck is in uh, Lithuanian team's end. Yeah, now they get it, Metiunas passing to side uh, Kusevas to. Misiuk, Misiuk uh, shows it in. Um, Misiuk once again. Battling by the balls. Grinius. Misiuk, Vasco is ready in the center, but uh, they can't uh, get the puck to him. Now he has it and uh, makes a shot. Yeah, there's a rebound right in front. Yeah. Um, it was another clear scoring opportunity for Lithuania, but the goalie made a strong save there. Yeah. And 10 seconds left on this power play. Nice uh, dangling pass across the ice. Still with the puck. Okay, power play is over. Don't make a contest, and now there is a chance. But the goalie no, no, comes no. out on that to play the puck. Very calm. Yes, calm, safe play. But uh, don't make a contest, and then and, and now Lithuanians uh, try to go ahead. Spaniards uh, fighting there, getting the puck and then trying to move on. Mendizabal, uh, Sarimento is up uh, down there to help him. Cerda, Juan Cerda. Pass to here. Spaniards chains. Yeah, but could not really control it and uh, Lithuania comes out with the puck again. Yeah, Binculis. Moves it uh, to side, Ragas gets it. Ragas uh, going strong, but uh, uh, facing two guys and the puck is taken away from him. Gil, two on one and then uh, Gil uh, yeah, cool fighting puck yeah. for Spain, now higher in the center. A good Gil opportunity. To him and, 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 uh, another block, another block. Lithuania right. shot quite well and then now a save. by the goalkeeper, rebound. Yeah, maybe too early, but but it's looking that the first shutout of the tournament is uh, coming closer and closer. Yeah, the two, the best opportunity Spain had is uh, when the goalkeeper left a rebound, uh, but created a very very nice save right after, and the second chance when they hit the crossbar, yeah. which was very very close when uh, Spain the forward beat the goalkeeper but could not beat the net. 
Wes Wasco, uh, Krokowski goes in. Spaniards uh, can't repair it. Krokowski, Wasco. Wasco looking for a chance to pass it. Uh, no one to, to receive. And the uh, buck uh, is at uh, Gr Lubis. Grinius. All over the red and uh, over the blue. Beautiful, beautiful move. Passing and then Vasco. Skov goes, goes pass, just couldn't reach it. Vasco and then the Krokowski are both on a shooting lane, but couldn't get the assist. Vasco. A lot of uh, action. Stefanovic is trying to get it uh, in Kusevas. And Spain comes uh, on a counter attack. Uh, yeah, Pau goes out of play. Yeah, and Fernandez made a shot. Maybe he was going for three points, like in uh, field goal in yeah. football. Yeah. Maybe. Trying to tie the game. Yeah, something of a kind, but... Well, they need to do uh, way more than they're doing right now to tie this game. Yeah, 60 minutes, a little bit less than that uh, remaining, and, and uh, it is uh, three to nothing uh, still for... Lithuania and, and uh, Lithuania is uh, going to divide it first place uh, in points uh, with that. Because uh, Estonians are waiting there with eight points already and Lithuania will pass uh, Romania right now. But Romanians are coming out uh, against uh, Great Britain next and, and that will be one of the most interesting... Uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very entertaining games uh, in this tournament both, both, both teams need a victory absolutely need a victory and then both teams are uh, well uh, scoring and and uh, it is really interesting to see what kind of a uh, hockey we will see well there's a chance for spain R uh, mendy zabal and and uh, serda yeah good good defensive play by lithuania yeah. did not allow a clear uh, good shot there and, and uh, lubis lubis is calm Lubis is a really nice, uh, calm goalie from uh, Lapper and the Saipa. Uh, Finnish uh, Assam Liga team, a junior there. What does he play, U20 team there? Yeah. Is he starting goalie? Uh, there are uh, three of them. Uh, the, they are using them all and, and, and uh, oh, wow. he's one of the starting goalies. He tried to go to uh, Mikkel Jukuri team where uh, Morten Arantes Jürgens is playing. He was at the tryout uh, there this summer with a uh, goalie of Estonia, Christopher kuller Yugi, and then they put them to play each other uh, for periods and then all the periods ended in draw. It, it was a good uh, competition between these two and then uh, the game in here also ended in draw. It was 1-1 and then penalty yeah. shootout was the difference maker this time. But uh, Christopher and Laurinas are, are really good uh, buddies and, and, and they chat a lot uh, during the season. Go for them. They are, they are two Baltic boys in Finland, uh, brothers in arms. And, and uh, Spain, Fernandez uh, to Sanchez. Sanchez gives it to uh, Romcavicius, Paulius Romcavicius. Yeah, this is kind of like a first period when Spain doesn't really have any no chance quality shots. No chance chances for yeah. quality shots yeah. on that. They need to put more pressure. You know, they got to start with one goal and then create more and more opportunities. Because yeah. so far, they, they're getting nothing. Lithuania is uh, controlling this game very strongly right now. Grini is taking a face off. Gil, Alvaro Gil. And um, Lithuanians uh, move the puck to the center. Vasco, Vasco tries to find some room to Krukowski. But uh, looks like uh, also Lithuania has lost their uh, kind of a uh, high oh, attack. No, there's a goal, there's a goal, there's a goal. Grinios makes a shot and then they seen um, yeah hit the hit the post and yeah, the number and number four puts the puck in the net. Yeah, Krokowski uh, 
But the Grinio started to make it and then the rest say, was it in already or was it post? It is Grinio's nice move and then the out there uh, post and then number four, Tomas Krukowski. Second goal by this defenseman uh, that is playing a forward role today and then... And, uh, but I think with a last name like this you could have played for Polish team too. Yeah. <laughs> Heaven only knows. <laughs> but Thomas Kokowski is a big tall guy uh, for Lithuania and, and uh, he Yeah, easy easy goal for him yeah. this time. Right place, right time. He's playing in Vilnius team Zelezinis uh, uh, Vilkas. Uh, some kind of wolves uh, they were. And, and he is born on the 19th of March 2000. Sorry, it is Matiunis who are talking. He is born on the 3rd of May. And, and he's uh, 195 tall. So big guy six uh, uh, five in, in inches <laughs> and wow that's a lot it's, it's a big boy it helps in a reach department yeah, yeah. And, and, and they have a couple of more of those in, in team Lithuania Romsevich is number two exactly the same numbers yeah they got a couple in team Estonia too yeah pretty tall boys yeah the tallest uh, boy in this tournament uh, Novikov uh, seven centimeters higher than uh, what is it, two, two, two meters and two, two centimeters. centimeters. Yeah. There's another chance for Lithuania. Yeah, and then the Raul Barba makes a save, but for nothing. Uh, it seems uh, that we can uh, be happy for our uh, southern brothers, and and, and uh, they are taking uh, the three points today, and and, and uh, they are mm, uh, reaching us. And then. Uh, take a, a good grab uh, from the medals in this tournament yeah so far I think four teams still can get medals right yeah so we know for sure Spain and uh, Korea out of the medal standings um, I would say that uh, looking at the 0-4 uh, mathematically uh, everything is uh, still possible for Spain too but but it is only mathematics. Yeah, but I, you know, I don't think in this game Spain will come up with a five quick goals yeah. with 11 minutes left in the third period. Yeah, knowing that uh, Laurin Aslobis is in the net and, and the Lithuanians uh, have uh, really many defensemen that are really good in this tournament. So I believe um, we can count that they, they pick the three points from this one. Lubis makes another routine save. His uh, glove hand uh, moves quick and then... Yeah, and tough, tough to beat him there. If you don't want to beat him, maybe shoot for the rebounds. Yeah. Yeah, but the uh, uh, parents are also in this uh, tournament uh, with a lot of other other parents in the in, uh, in Lithuanian team uh, cheering uh, for their uh, kids and, and, and happy for them today. Well, we actually have uh, three Lithuanian flags in the stands and three Spanish flags too. Nice. So it's 3-3 three, three, at least in the flag department. Yep, uh, four nothing on the scoreboard. So at least uh, some draw somewhere. Not bad. Rubio. Oscar Rubio leaving uh, back to O'Hare. O'Hare uh, keeps on on uh, passing to Rubio. Rubio has a chance and shot and then blocked away by Rubio. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of blocks in this game. Yeah. yeah. Paulius from Sevicius. Another big boy from, uh, from uh, Lithuania. He plays for Liepaja team in Latvia. He's club hockey. Another save uh, to Lubis. Oh, there's a trip. Unfortunate tripping yeah. for Spaniards. And uh, Lithuania power play once again. And Lithuanian power play coming up as a uh, tripping call is made against uh, number uh, 14, no 19, 19, 19 uh, in uh, uh, team uh, Spain, uh, who is uh, Pablo Zaballa. Yeah, that's something uh, Spain didn't really need to go shorthanded yeah. once again, but they gotta try everything right now. Pablo Zaballa is playing his club hockey in uh, San Sebastian, Suri Urdin. Uh, uh, team um, is also from 2007 and July, so 7 7 uh, 2000 and then and, and there are mm, a lot of guys in the post teams that uh, can come back uh, for next season, uh, um, and, and that's that's really good. Uh, 
young uh, guys uh, playing and, and getting these uh, experiences. It is a very, very, very big thing uh, for each and every one of them. Mati Yunas. Misyuk. Getting his own pass in front. Rebound. <laughs> But a good block by a sliding player from uh, Team Spain. Fernandez uh, was uh, doing a good, uh, good job there. Lithuanians have a chance now. Three, uh, three guys on two. And yeah, and shoulder save by the goalkeeper. And uh, Raul yeah. Barba made a good save. And it cl cleared his own. One minute still left on this power play. Nice pass by the goalkeeper. Yeah, Gusevas and, and uh, Matiunas and guys go, go to change. Vasco and... and uh, Green is out there uh, on the blue line. There will be um, Romsevichus and uh, was it Tameka? Yeah, it is Tameka, Arvidas Tameka. Green is. Martinez Green is with a really good speed and then, oh, he's taken down. Uh, he's taken down and it's looking bad. Well, he kind of spun around and uh, collided with the goalkeeper. Yeah. Well, I think he will be fine. Yeah, he's a good boy. Also, we'll see once again. Moving. Yeah, knee. Kind of trip, tri tripped trip up over Nying. the defenseman. Yeah. There are hockey sticks and knees and everything. Left. Uh, Out there and then hockey, hockey stick, yeah, he goes over and then and, and, uh, ripping call. Yeah, I don't think they... Uh, no, there was no call by the referee. No? No. That was amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You know, by looking at the replay, it kind of looked like he got tripped up a little bit. But looking yeah. in uh, real time, I did not think it was a penalty either. You know, it's tough to be you know, standing on the ice exactly. there. Exactly. Well, repair crew has to come on the ice uh, to drill some holes in the net. See, maybe they can find some fish swimming down there. Yeah. And then, uh, for Spain, has, uh, a little bit of time to relax and then... Uh, uh, yeah, regroup for both teams. Yeah. Lithuanians leave uh, Vasco out there. There is uh, Krokovski, Nororomsevichus, Tomeika, and uh, Binkulis replaces uh, Grinius. Then he's got a um, oh. slight contact and then and, and, and he uh, more rest. Well, ice uh, driller slowly makes his way off the ice and we can uh, resume no the action there. No fish, no, did not find any time, any fish this time. Yep. I'm sure he have uh, plenty of opportunity. Yeah. On the lakes uh, by the city, but not in here. Binkulis, Binkulis. Um, Prokowski. Well, so far he has two goals. See, maybe he can find a third one. Yeah, hat trick would be a uh, nice, nice one uh, to remember this Did game. Did Lithuania already had a hat trick? Uh, yeah, they they have uh, had a, a couple. Uh, team Great Britain uh, against um, Korea, 13 to one. They had uh, Chad Smith and um, Joshua Waller both scoring a hat trick. Well, even even strength for both teams. Yeah. Um, not too much action on this power play and uh, Spain comes out with the puck and uh, creates some chances. And oh, he misplayed the puck shot. Why? Burgos. Alejandro Burgos. Or is it 16? Can't find that number. See if they can keep the puck in the zone. Uh, yeah, they yeah, did. Burgos it is. Mendizabal, Burgos and, and uh, guys out there. To run is waiting on the blue line. Yeah, they need some shots. They, you know, try to be fancy there. Lucas Vasco, he's tired, uh, no legs for this time to run away, but he loves the moments like that, breakaways. It's his style of playing hockey, and then uh, he can uh, do some uh, really big damage. Ragas, Ragas to Stepanovic's uh, shot. Pisiuk, uh, sorry, number 13. Misuk has taken uh, the centerman role in the second unit. Well, actually, they call the first unit today with Kudrevichus and Ragas on the 
sides and then another easy looking yeah. uh, puck to Lubis and, and, and then the nice uh, when uh, Gody is confident then the shots look easy. Yeah, you know, the, the shot was uh, from the blue line, kind yeah. of far away from the net. Uh, still, he has to make a easy save, and yeah. he did once again. 6.49 left in the third period. Uh, we can probably say in the game with a 4 0 Lithuanian lead. Yeah. Another face off, and a couple of seconds uh, run down. From the Spaniards, uh, there is. Um, Pablo Jimenez, a uh, boy playing in Germany. And not uh, very many Spanish players playing there from this team. He's at least the only one. Well, there's a good chance. Shot saved by the goalkeeper. Yeah. One of the best chances in the third period for um, uh, Spain. Yeah. Better late than never, but, but they need scoring. I think all they want right now is just one goal. Yeah. Raul Barbo, another save from him too. Good game, uh, good game for Team Lithuania. Uh, they are reaching eight points after that. They are passing Romania in the standings, and, and uh, they have one more, one more game in this tournament, and it's uh, tomorrow against Korea. It's a middle game tomorrow, 16:30. Who does Spain play tomorrow? Uh, Spain will play. Uh, uh, Great Britain, uh, this is the first game of the uh, day. Well, not tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a day off. No, uh, yeah, day after tomorrow, Saturday. Mm, so the teams can enjoy uh, yeah. beautiful weather in Estonia. Uh, right now it's very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Yeah, it's uh, raining. Cold, and, cold and, and raining. And, and uh, there is a lot of uh, snow. It's, it's uh, becoming ice. So yeah. Well, maybe they can uh, skate home. Yeah, that is because everything is going to freeze tonight. And what a chance of how pain, but Lucas picks it up and then the Vasco. Vasco with a chance. Backhanded yeah. shot, saved by the goalkeeper. And uh, no, 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 they can't do it. Good defensive <laughs> play there. <laughs> Defenseman uh, rushes to help, and then and, and the Spanish boys look tired. But in the end of the game, a couple of. of uh, yeah, those two, two good chances there. Chances in both ends, it's, it's just <laughs> good. Mendizabal uh, not uh, managing uh, to get the puck. <coughs> well, Spain uh, comes out of the zone. We'll yeah. put the puck quick in the Ivan neutral zone, cross the blue Rojo. line, but being uh, pressured by two Lithuanian uh, players, they quickly intercept the puck and get it out of the zone, so Spain have to start over again. And they dump the puck. But uh, nobody really chasing it, so Lithuanian get possession uh, quite easy. Yeah, the moves the puck out of the zone. Ragas with the puck. Luckily, the Ragas, the Ragas ke keeps on going. Looking for a oh, nice pass and a good save by the goalkeeper. Yeah. Although he had the uh, far side is wide open there, just uh, missed shot it a little bit. But the Time is uh, running down. It is only four minutes left in this game, and and, and um, four goals even don't uh, aren't enough for Spain. So it looks Lithuania. Jankauskas, by near Jankauskas. Yeah, escape through a couple Spanish boys. Spanish boys, as I said, look tired. Uh, they they have emotion. Yeah, kind of tired, tired and out. Uh, they understand that uh, they most likely not going to win this game, but I think they still going to try to put at least one puck uh, yeah. behind the goalkeeper there. Emotionally, they know that that this is a game of Lithuania today, and and, and uh, they must wait to tomorrow for Great Britain, and and uh, which is going to be a very very tough uh, game for them too. Less than uh, 48 hours till that, not tomorrow, but uh, Saturday. Uh, if I'm saying tomorrow, the final day of the tournament. Krasilnikov, uh, we have not seen a lot of him today. Vasco, no, it was not Krasilnikov, it was a number uh, 
23 in Lithuania. Christianas, yeah, Kasenica versus 22. Uh, Volodinas, yeah. Volodinas who plays his hockey in Potka Titanit in Suomi Sarja. Uh, in third level in, in Finland. Their team started second uh, half uh, of the season with 0-7 loss to Grankula IFK. But uh, it doesn't matter today. Uh, today their team is uh, winning with 0-4-0. Two minutes left in the third period, though, and in the game. In and there's the a game, shot and there's a save and, uh, for the goalkeeper. And the numbers of uh, Lubis uh, become better and better in, in the goal is uh, statistics. Do it for him. Laurenas deserves it. He's, yeah. a good, he, he's a good, very good goalie. 34 um, shots for Lithuania and 24 shots for Spain. Uh, yeah. And he says all 24 saves so far. Rojo Royo can't uh, keep it in and, and, and now uh, attempt uh, from uh, Lithuanians also not the best one. Most players, uh, teams are using kind of uh, players who don't get uh, so much ice time. Uh, usually, Federovic, uh, Justinas is out there and Justas, sorry, uh, number 12. And, and uh, a couple of uh, seconds ago, we saw um, uh, Volodinas um, and Umavic is out there, Milunas. So they also can enjoy the game. And, yeah, good, good hit by number 12 for Lithuania. Yeah, it is this Federovic's guy. Federovic is a uh, young guy. He, he will have his uh, moments uh, like many others uh, at U18 um, tournament. Um, no, oh, he, number 12? No, he's, he has yeah, a half shield already. So yeah, 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 he's 21st of December. I remember he was a young guy, but not just... Well, it depends out. according to who is yeah, a young guy. The 10 days out, uh, he's playing in... Uh, Vilnius, Zerezinas, uh, Vilkas also, so he can't... Compared, compared to us, he's a young guy. Absolutely, he is. <laughs> <laughs> and, and under 20, you are a young guy. <laughs> <laughs> compared to any, anybody. Final uh, uh, seconds uh, going down, and, and as I predicted, first shutout is coming, and, and Lubis is the one to take it. Congratulations and maybe there's another goal coming up. Congratulations to him, congratulations to team. Oh, well, there's another chance for Spain. Lithuania. Yeah. Oh, there's a half side. Half side, yeah. Half a minute to go. A little anxious uh, to score that one goal and uh, goes offside. 29 yeah. seconds, 29.8 to be exact left in this, uh, say, game. Yeah. I think it's safe to say game. Yeah. It is. And um, overall standings. Uh, Spain still with three points uh, together with Great Britain and uh, uh, Lithuania together with Estonia on eight points. Well, actually, Lithuania is going to be in the second spot because Estonia beat Lithuania. Uh, yeah, but uh, they are on the final day. Right now, uh, goal difference is uh, for them uh, plus four, for us uh, plus five. Yeah, second place. That is, is it. that the first thing they count as a goal difference? Uh, no, uh, in the back-to-back oh, back? Back -back game, of course. But, but uh, during the standing play, they usually have this uh, different and in final uh, final standing back to yeah, back. Yeah. But now the best player of the team, no, 1.2 seconds. Yeah, 1.2 seconds. Come on, we're anything, not done yet. Anything, anything can happen. Vinkulis can uh, make a draw and, uh, with uh, O'Care. And they. That now is it's official. 4 nothing win for Lithuania and uh, the Lithu first shot out Lithuania of the tournament. Lithuanians congratulate their goalie. Good job, uh, Laurinas Lubis. Uh, happy for you. And I'm happy for the boys in yellows. Well, I, I don't think the goalie is going to be the first star of the game because so. I think he already been a star of the game in yeah, the first we'll game against England. Yeah, but we'll see who, who will be. Number seven? Uh, has been uh, already in the second game against Estonia. Oh, no.